So as I investigate, explore, why don't you come along at the same time? No skin off my nose. When you're out rambling, it's imperative to have a good sturdy staff. It comes in so much use. Bashing down brambles and stinging nettles, for moving out large branches, for hooking down high branches when foraging fruits. Oh, this is nice, this is. So, I'm looking for fungi, and I'm hoping to find some sheep's head fungi or some chicken of the woods, which are big like cabbage growths, which grow on oak trees and the like. I've never found a, a chicken of the woods. It's bright orange, and they can grow pretty huge, just like a load of a grouping of elephant ears, something like that. But you know what I love about natural woods? You just see, you can kind of follow back a history of generations. Like this branch here. Has fallen down. From this tree here. And this, it looks like an oak. And that one is an ash. I can see by the leaves. So everything within these woods is mostly untouched by humans. And if there is the odd one like me that comes strolling through, then there's nothing really discernible to say I've been here. So things like this, you see, where we get this like parasite, this vine, which has accosted this tree. And look what it's doing. It's using it to get right up to the top for the light. And they don't care on many occasions whether they stifle the light or the growth of their host. And this is why many foresters they will cut this thing there so it cannot grow anymore. And then when we have this one here, and that one's died already. But it's interesting to see nature doing its thing. And this vine is one of those uh, classic vines that you get growing all over the British Isles and then they'll have a group in of little blackberries which blackbirds and thrushes and pigeons like to feed on. So they are useful. Them birds in the background, they're jackdaws. Now, what do we have here? Why has somebody done that? Very clear water. It's not the most beautiful of woodlands, 
because you've got all this stuff going on. It's always very disturbing when you see the natural beauty being ruined. I'm going to go up here. It looks marginally clearer. I like to look at the fallen trees. You got an orifice in that one there. I wonder if it was inhabited. I'm gonna have to use my thrashing stick. Wow, well it's certainly been, it's a, it's a, um, a woodpecker's, or was a woodpecker's. Now this is how it would have been when the tree was standing up. And I wonder if anything has bothered to nest in it this year. I can't see any reason why not. And I can see that there's quite a few scratchings around there, which look pretty new. And so I would think that that has been occupied this year. Pheasant. Now you see here, there is two trees that have fallen down, this one and this one, because this one was evidently intertwined with this one, and so they met the same fate because this one, here again, look. Woodpeckers. This one was using this big one, and that's the gamble these take, because if they uh, climb up an aged tree, or an infirm one, then they're gonna end up going down with it. And so we can see the history, can't we? Isn't it beautiful? Now this is the perfect place for fungi. The variety that feed on dead trees. It's still a little bit early in this season for fungi because there's not a great deal about and there's, there's more of this about, you know. So this needs to die off and bed down and that's when the fungi is going to be more prominent and easy to spot. 
And what do we have here? Ah, that is a very ripe rose sip. See those seeds in there? I can feel the stickiness. Now, bird or squirrels had hold of that. And it's brought it from somewhere afar because I haven't seen any rose sips here and they usually grow in hedgerows. And so that's an interesting little bit of tracking. And it's inspiring because that rose sip was big and it was ripe, ready for the harvesting. Hello? Anybody at home? Anybody at home? And I'm sure somebody lives in there. Because look what we've got going on here. We've got lots of soil being disturbed here scratched around and maybe roots being eaten. Interesting. Huh. Let me see if I can navigate through here. Yeah. <sighs> Evidently a roosting place for pigeons because they've been having a bit of a groom and so they like to roost in places like this here we go again Hello. Anybody at home? Well, there is no fungi around.
But there's some nice stories. And that's being frequented a lot. Well, a couple of minutes more, and then I'll move on. No fun like we have here. I mean, just to have the solitude. And to observe and to sleuth around being a natural sleuth. a sleuth. Someone that creeps around, doesn't it? You could say like a burglar is a sleuth. Some non has got a large prowess in stealthily snooping around. Well, I can't say I'm being that stealthful. I'm making a lot of noise as I beat away the stinging nettles and the brambles. And everything that was in here was quickly vacated. Pink ape alert. Uh oh, pink ape alert. So onwards people. Can she lay that?